Captain Jack Harkness versus Captain Jack Sparrow. Uh, unleashing evil from a box, it's Tristan Healy. Okay. And rising naked from the sea, it's Mike Gorman. All right. You good? You good? All right. Let's roll, guys. <laughs> oh, Tristan. He got a one. Oh. Oh, sympathy. So, Mike, you with 13? Lucky number. All right, you're Jack Sparrow, right? Yes, I am. Yeah, all right. So, tell me why Jack Sparrow beats Captain Jack Hartness. You know, I, I am not here to defend the nefarious Captain Jack Sparrow, as he is history's greatest monster. I don't refer to his storied past of piracy, plundering and pilfering, gang pressing and pieces of eight picking, or panzancing, black pearl clutching, or parrot mancy rather i speak of the brutal and heinous murder of johnny depp's career <laughs> you remember johnny don't you the indie darling of the art house set an actor whose merest gesture could steal a show a multitude a multitude of mu wild characters each more fantastic than the rest but a scant few voyages with the good captain and he's been reduced to a stupid voice in a selection of silly hats and for what a mountain of money his own island in the Caribbean and all the rum he can drink? Shame. Shame and fie on you, Captain Jack Sparrow. May you rot in production hell. Oh boy. Oh, I don't know if you have any friends left. <laughs> Tristan? <laughs> Tristan, talk to us about Captain Jack Harkness. You have a right. minute. Harkness versus Sparrow. Captain versus Captain Jack versus Jack. Gentle folks, welcome to the Jack Off. <laughs> so, let's talk captains here. Now, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, one of the most important things about a man is the tool. <laughs> so, let's look, at, let's look at Jack Sparrow right now. Jack Sparrow has this, you know, magical little compass that, you know, points your way to your heart's desire, which is great if what you're looking for is your heart's desire and not a, the nearest pizza place. Jack Harkness has the time, the, uh, the Vortex Manipulator, or as I like to call it, the Time Apple Watch. Uh, so not only does it give you access to all of time and space, it syncs wildly with, with your smartphone, giving you access to Siri, who can tell you where that nearest pizza place is, and then the Vortex Manipulator takes you there. Um, the nearest one, that cute little one on like Epsilon Planet Zeta, or this really, really great one, you, remember, you know the one, right? Uh, three blocks from the Colosseum in Rome back in the 3rd century BC. Now, so, I mean, the Vortex Manipulator is much more versatile, and versatility is a good thing in a man. Um, so, you know, t talking versatility and experience, I mean, Sparrow was undead for five minutes in the first film, and, you know, Kate died and came back, you know, second film, third film. Jack Harkness has died an estimated 40 million times, last I heard, in every way conceivable, which is, <laughs> coincidentally, just slightly less the number of times he had sex in every way conceivable. Jack Harkness is an experienced, immortal, omnisexual, ex-cop con man from the 51st century. Jack Sparrow is the pirate in his myliner. <laughs> it's like a giant game of penis, penis, penis up here. I don't, I don't even know what's going on in my life. So do we hear it? <laughs> so do we hear it for Captain Jack Sparrow, Mike Gorman? <laughs> or do we hear for Captain Jack Hardis, Tristan Healy? <laughs> wow. All right. You win the Jack off. Dad, I am so sorry. Psst.